Welcome to another episode of Math Class with me, Sir Ron. And at the end of this video, the learners are able to 1. Explain the relationship of central and inscribed angle to their intercepted arcs. 2. Find the degree measure of arcs and angles. Balikan lang natin yung relationship of central angle to its intercepted arc. The measure of the intercepted arc is equal to the measure of the central angle. So, ang central angle natin dito is angle BAC. Ang sukat niya ay 50 degrees. So, according to this uh, statement, equal daw siya sa intercepted arc which is BC. Therefore, si BC is also 50 degrees. The measure of arc BC is equal to 50 degrees. At tatandaan ang relationship ni central sa intercepted arc. They are equal. Next, let us now proceed to the relationship of inscribed angle to its intercepted arc. Okay, ito po ay illustrations ng inscribed angle. Pag sinabing inscribed angle, angle siya na ang vertex ay nasa circle. Ayan, o, yun po ang inscribed angle. So with no further ado, proceed tayo dun sa relationship Ayan, ni inscribed angle sa kanyang intercepted arc. I'll read the theorem. If an angle is inscribed in a circle, then the measure of the angle equals one half the measure of its intercepted arc. Ulitin ko po yun, ano? If an angle is inscribed in a circle, then the measure of the angle equals one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So, I have the illustration para mas maintindihan yung binasa ko. So, halimbawa, ang intercepted arc natin dito is BC, di ba? Kung ang sukat ni BC, for example, ay 80 degrees. Ano-ano ang magiging sukat ng ating inscribed angle? So, ang sabi dun sa theorem, kalahati daw nung sukat ng intercepted arc. So, kung si BC ay 80, si inscribed angle mo is equal to 40 degrees. O, yun po yung sinasabi. Kalahate ng intercepted arc equal sa sukat ng inscribed angle. Or, pwede rin po natin restate yung theorem into this way. The measure of the intercepted arc is twice the measure of the inscribed angle. Totoo naman, di ba? Yung sukat daw ng intercepted arc ay doble. No? Dodoblihin mo yung sukat ng inscribed angle. Tama? In symbols, yan. The measure of arc uh, of angle BAC is equal to one half the measure of arc BC. Tama naman, di ba? Or the measure of arc BC is equal to twice the measure of angle BAC. So sa kung sa central angle equal ang angle at saka ang intercepted arc sa inscribed angle, ganito naman yung susundin natin. Ayan. So, one half ng intercepted arc equal sa inscribed angle. Or, uh, the arc is equal to twice the measure of the inscribed angle. Now, apply natin yung natutunan natin ano, in answering this activity. So, using the figure, hanapin yung mga sumusunod. Number one, measure of arc AC. So, hanapin natin, nasa si arc AC? So, si arc AC mula doon hanggang dito. Tama, yun po yung hinahanap. Note na si arc AC ay uh, intercepted arc ng ating inscribed angle which is 52 degrees. Tama? So paalala na ang arc ay mas malaki ng dalawang beses. No? Two times greater dun sa may kanyang inscribed angle. So kung 52 ito, ano magiging sukat ni AC? Yes, ita times 2 lang natin para makuha si arc AC. So 52, ita times natin siya ng 52 times 2 is of course 104. <coughs> Therefore, number 1, the answer is 104. <coughs> this is 104 degrees. Next, punta tayo sa number 2. Find the measure of angle BCD. So, nasan si BCD? Ayun, na, nandun na, no? si angle BCD, ito po siya. Ito po yung nawawala, yung kulay pula na to. Si angle BCD ay inscribed angle, tama? At ang kanyang intercepted arc is BD. ba? Ito yung kanyang intercepted arc. Ayan, BD, which is equal to 80. 
So ano ang gagawin para makuha ko si BCD? Di ba mas malaki to ng dalawang beses? So kung 8 ito, of course, i-divide mo naman ito ng 2 para makuha mo yung nasa loob na angle. So this is 40 degrees naman. 80 divided 2 is 40 degrees. So number 2, the answer is 40. Next, number 3, the measure of angle BDC. So ang BDC ko dyan, ito, ito, itong may square na to. Diba, napag-aralan natin to dati na kapag may square na yan, ang ini-indicate dyan ay right angle. And a right angle is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, si number 3 ay 90. What about arc BAC? So, si arc BAC, i-clear po muna natin lahat ng ating mga uh, na ilagay. Erase muna natin para mas makita. Ayan, si arc BAC, Ang nawawala. Si BAC mula doon hanggang doon. Ayan. So, ano ba si BAC? Yes, it is a semicircle. So, ibig sabihin, kung siya ay semicircle, number 4, the answer is 180. So, 180 po si number 4. Pwede rin nating apply. Ano? Di ba itong si BDC, 90 degrees? Tama. Di ba ito ay inscribe angle? So, tapos, si... Inscribe angle BDC, ang intercepted arc niya is BAC. So, kung 90 to times 2, ayun, sakto, 180 degrees nga. So, ganun ang pagsasolve gamit yung mga uh, theorem na na-discuss natin. Okay. So, pagsamahin uh, natin, ano, ang relationship ng central to intercepted arc at saka inscribe angle to its intercepted arc. Solve for what is asked. Point A is the center of the circle. So, number one, if the measure of angle LAR is 50, so sulat po muna natin, LAR, ito yan, LAR, so ang sukat daw nito ay 50, angle pala, no, sorry. Erase natin. Ayan, so angle uh, LAR is 50, Angle LAR is 50. So, ito po siya. LAR, 50 degrees. Ano daw ang sukat ni arc LR? So, di ba mas malaki ng dalawang beses yung arc kesa sa kanyang inscribe ang central angle? Tama? Tama? Ah, sorry. Okay, now let's have some more practice exercises applying the relationship of central to its intercepted arc as well as the relationship of inscribed angle to its intercepted arc. Ayan. Solve for what is asked. Point A is the center of the circle. Number one, if the measure of angle LAR is 50, then the measure of arc LR equals blank. So, sulat muna natin. So, si LAR... Ito po yan, LAR. Tama, ang sukat daw niya ay 50 degrees. Ano daw ang sukat ni LR? So, di ba ito central angle? And the central angle is congruent or equal to its intercepted arc. So, ibig sabihin, si LR ay 50 degrees din po. Number one, the answer is 50. Kasi congruent dahil central angle yan. Next, <clears throat> number two, if the measure of arc PR equal 72, then the measure of angle RAP equals blank. So, ano ba yung si arc PR? Si arc PR, ito siya. Mula doon hanggang doon. Tama? Ang sukat niya ay 72 degrees. So, ano daw ang sukat ni RAP? Si RAP, ito. Tama? So, ang ibinigay ay intercepted arc. Ano daw yung sukat ng angle na to? So, yung angle na to, di ba, central angle? At alam natin na ang central angle equals sa intercepted arc. Therefore, this is also 72 degrees. So, number 2 is 72 degrees. Next, ano daw ang sukat ni arc LP? So, ayan. Si LP mula kay L hanggang kay P. Eh, di ba, ito 72 tapos ito 50 na. So, para makuha ko yun, pagpaplasin ko siya. So, 50 plus 72 
is equal to 2. Okay, 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. So, number 3, the answer is 122. Next, punta tayo kay number 4. Okay, number 4. If the measure of a angle LUV is 34, find uh, then the measure of arc LV equals blank. So, sulat natin. Angle LUV, si angle LUV, ito siya. Ama, ang sukat daw niya ay 34 degrees. So, ano daw ang sukat ni LV? Ayun si LV. So, di ba ito ay inscribed? O, mas malaki ng dalawang beses si LV. Tama? Ibig sabihin, si 34, ita times ko siya ng 2 para makuha siya. So, 34 times 2 is 8. Tapos, ito ay 6. So, the answer in number 4 is 68. So, ito 68 degrees. Ayan. Next, number 5. Angle DUV is 46. Then, the measure of arc DV equals blank. Si DUV, sundan po ng mata, ito yon, di ba? Si DUV, 46 degrees. O, ano daw si DV? Ito. Ayan, mula doon hanggang doon. O, eh, mas malaki ng dalawang beses yung arc kesa sa inscribed. So, ang gagawin ko, 46, ita times ko naman ng 2. 46 times 2, this is 12. Tama? 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, that's 92. Therefore, the answer there is 92. O, ganun lang po kasimple ang uh, application ng central inscribed sa kanilang intercepted arcs. Okay, next set of problems. Oh, yun pa rin yung figure, pero ibang mga problems naman. Number 6, if the measure of arc LV is 52, then the measure of angle LUV equals blank. Oh, para hindi ka mahirapan, i-jot down mo yung given dun sa figure. Si LV 52, arc. Oh, si LV 52, ayun, 52 degrees. Then the measure of angle LUV, ang LUV ko, ito. Oh, ano daw yung sukat nun? Paano gagawin? Oh, hindi ba? Kung 52 ito, mas maliit ito. Tama? So, 52, i-divide ko ng 2. Tama? O, what is 52 divided by 2? 52 divided by 2, actually, kahit i-mental na lang, kaya yan, ano? O, pero, divide na natin. So, this will be 4, this is uh, 1, bring down 2, so 6. Tama? So, the answer is 26. Ayan. So, number 6, the answer is 26. This is 26 degrees. Ayan. Next, number 7. If the measure of arc DV is 69, so sulat natin, si DV daw ay 69 degrees, ano daw ang sukat ni angle DUV? Si DUV, ito. Tama? O, yun po si DUV. So, paano po masasol? Yes, kakalahatiin na naman. So, 69 divided by 2. O, divide natin. 69 divided by 2. So, 3. 6, so this is 0, this is 9, so 4, 8, tama, 8, so 1, uh, 0, so pagka hindi sakto, okay lang, ayan, 34.5, so ibig sabihin, 34.5 yung sukat nito, okay, number 7, the answer is 34.5, 34.5 degrees yung angle, ano, so, ganun po ang gagawin. Next, what about the measure of arc LDU? So, pag sinunda natin, LDU. So, si LDU, actually, pag tiningnan mo siya dito sa figure, semicircle siya. So, kung semicircle siya, the answer is 180. Ayan. So, para masolve natin yung 9 na 10, burahin muna natin. Kaya, ang sabi ko nga dun sa video ko, Mas maganda kung lapis ang ipang susulat nyo dun sa may figure para pe pwede ninyong burahin. So, burahin po natin yung mga nakasulat. At sagutan natin yung 9 na 10. Okay, next, number 9. If the measure of angle DUL is 74, so DUL, si DUL yung buo na to, mula doon hanggang doon, tama? Si DUL ay 74 degrees. Ano daw ang sukat ni LD? Si LD mula dito hanggang doon. O, di ba mas malaki ng dalawang beses yung arc kesa sa angle, yung inscribed angle? So, ita times 2 mo siya. So, 74 times 2. So, this is 8. 7 times 2 is 14. So, the answer in number 9 is 148. 
Next, number 10. If LD is 85, then DUL equals blank. Uh, baliktad naman, ano? Ang ibinigay naman, so i-clear muna natin ulit itong ating illustration. Okay, erase natin ulit. Ayan. So, si LD daw, 85 naman. Ayan. So, si LD, 85 degrees. So, ano daw si DUL? Si DUL, ito, di ba? O, adi kakalahatiin mo naman siya. 85 divided by 2 siya. No? 85 divided by 2. So, 4. This is 8. 0. Bring down 5. So, 2. 4. 1. Ayan. So, 0. Ayan. So, the answer there is 42.5. So, ganun po ang pag-a-apply pag ang pag ng relationship of central and inscribed to their intercepted arc. So, sana malinaw ang ating discussion. Ayan. Thank you for...